All right, snack pack. So you know your boy, the American, had to do his due diligence and check out McDonald's overseas. You know, initially I was against this idea when I was in Italy, but apparently it's a thing that you should be doing when you go internationally. So we ended up trying four different things here, right? So two of them were the shaka chicken, which is just this big piece of chicken, shaka shiki, excuse me. And they give you these two packets, depending on just two flavors. So it's red pepper and cheddar cheese. And that's the thing I'm having in my hand now. So they give you a bag and you can close it out and you can just shake it. I think this is a really fun, interactive way to eat food, like just shaking like this. Initially, I would be against using more effort to eat food, but this was really fun shaking it. There's actually a point where um, I shook it too much that there's actually a like a dotted line like towards near the middle of the back of the bag and because it was the red pepper flavor seasoning I actually ended up like starting starting to sneeze but yeah once you finish shaking it you just rip it off where the dotted line and then you're able to just eat it like that so I initially find this out later instead of just eating it from like the full bag form size but just letting you guys know if you ever go to Japan and get it this is definitely the thing to get at McDonald's. Everything else wasn't really that good. I was surprised, but you know, McDonald's is McDonald's regardless of where you are, right? So the red pepper and the cheddar cheese. I think I like the red pepper a little bit more than the cheddar cheese. The cheddar one was just a little bit too strong for me. So yeah, the red packet is the pepper one and the yellow one is the cheddar cheese. So I end up also getting the Triangular Choco Pie Black. It's not currently in the frame, but um, the crust, it was way too much. And by the time I even got inside of like the gooey goodness that is the chocolate, it was very, very lackluster to me. It felt like the Japanese version of McDonald's apple pies because they're always trying to push you to buy it and nobody actually gets them. It did, they said it was a seasonal item, so that's the only reason why I got it. I think people got it because it has like a cute little box, but um, yeah, it was not very good. And then the very last thing was a Samurai Mac Burger. So the way they sell it, or at least the English translation of it, is the Royal Soy Sauce Style Double Thick Beef. So I have to tell you guys that um, the prices here are really, really good because the yen is currently so weak. The burger itself was 580 yen, so that's not even $4. Can you imagine spending like $4 for like a Big Mac? That would be ludicrous. The, the shakashiki was about 200 yen, and the uh, triangular choco pie black was 160 yen, so less than $2. So value, it's pretty good. Um, taste, not all of them worked out. The Samurai Mac, it's basically a Big Mac, and they just drown it in soy sauce sauce. It was so, so salty. It just, the flavors did not work at all. Unfortunately, your boy missed out on an opportunity to try some exotic, like, Japanese soft drink or whatever stuff that they have in the McDonald's beverages. I was too brainwashed and just got a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero. But yeah, they do have Fanta Melon, Grape, and they even serve tea and juices. I'll definitely hey, come back to McDonald's and try out their other items that we don't have, but I think the only thing that's worth your time would be the shakashiki. And I also had their fries and it's the same exact recipe, it tastes exactly like they do back home in, in America, so yeah. I also want to add that earlier in the video there was a photo of everything that I was gonna eat. So the chicken nuggets were actually swapped out. I realized that I didn't order the chicken nuggets when I got my Samurai Mac combo. I actually swapped it out and paid extra yen for french fries, which I did at the kiosk, which helps because you know, I don't speak Japanese. And then when I took the picture, I realized that I didn't have any fries and I'm a big french fry person. So I went there and I told the staff that they got my order wrong and for some reason they had a lot of issues 
looking up past orders and they told me to give an order number and I didn't remember the order number and they took the receipt when I got my food. But yeah, they had me pay an extra 200 yen to upgrade from my chicken nuggets to french fries. But that does not affect the review at all. Honestly, it's complete chump change and I just wanted my french fries. That's like barely even like $2. And it was just a very small minor inconvenience. A lot of people were kind of staring at me though. Because they're, I was just standing there like, you know, arms crossed. Probably looking like Karen wondering why is it taking so long to me to get my french fries. And I don't want chicken nuggets because I have two shakashikis. So uh, do I really need more chicken? But yeah, McDonald's in Japanese. I would say it's worth trying. I'll probably try it one more other time, but I think that's all about it. Unless that's like the only thing that's available. But in Japan, that's probably not the case because there's konbinis every square mile. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.